Did you think I would move out? <laughs> I'm watching you from restart. Do I have to like record myself like turn it on? Mm -hmm. I'm just scan. Like zup. <laughs> Okay, I'm here to inform you on the negative effects of wolf, wolf friend syndrome, which can be very harsh on the body. And only a small, actually, group of individuals, and it's usually people who have someone affected by the disease. Um, it is a hereditary disease, but it's naturally it's recessive, meaning that both parents have to be carriers of the mutation for it to actually take effect in the family, the child. Uh, type 1 will affect 1 in every 500,000 people worldwide, with only 200 cases actually being used in studies. Type 2 only has like a handful of cases. It's even more rare than type 1, but it has worse effects than type 1. And it's usually diagnosed at the age of 6 with uh, diabetes mellitus. And at about the age of 8, if not treated, Opti optical atrophy will happen, and by 11, they are completely blind. Um, here's some little stats. The main symptom for Wolfram syndrome is high blood sugar due to the shortest of insulin in your body. This is may this will cause other complications in the body. They will suffer diabetes and sepia, hearing loss in the inner ear, urinary tract infection, and neurological disorders. The symptoms can be controlled or prevented with the treatment of like injection of enzymes and calcium. Uh, as you can see on your fourth slide, there's a picture of a pie, and it's 70% of people suffering Wolfram syndrome will have diabetes and syphilis. 65% will have deafness. Uh, 60 to 90% will have UT infections. And 60% 60 60 of people suffering Wolfram syndrome will have neurological disorders. There's a picture of the inner ear, and what it actually affects is the uh, bone of the inner ear, the concho. And then there's slides of the different places where the neurological problems can be. It's basically uh, inactive brain activity, dying of the brain cells. It just depends on how severe and how early they catch it. It's mostly, it's the last symptom that you will have if not treated. Okay, so Wolfram syndrome type one is caused by a mutation in the Wolfram protein, which is found in the pancreas, heart, bones, muscle, liver, and kidney of the body. And I showed you a picture of there, just in case you need to be reminding where the liver was and kidneys. Wolfram pro protein, there's two things that it does. One is believed to, there's not really been a whole lot of testing, but they believe this. It regulates calcium, or CA. Proper calcium balance is used for different functions in the body, such as intercellular communication. It is also important in the pancreas, where the proteins help in the process of making pro-enzyme that will mature into insulin. Insulin helps control the blood sugar levels. The mutation in the protein that reduces, or it's all together just gone, it's absent. This means CA is not regulated and the endoplastic reticulum does not work properly. With the endoplastic not having enough of the Wolfram, the cell will trigger uh, cell death or apoptosis. With these cells dying in the pancreas, no insulin will be made. So it's causing the two forms of diabetes that I mentioned earlier, because there's no regulation of glucose. Um, diabetes and sepia is where they actually pee out glucose. You can smell it and it has a sweet smell to it. And it, sometimes it gets so bad that if you actually pump over the cup of their urine, it's thick, like watered down sugar that's been sitting out for a while. And with these cells dying in the pancreas, there's no, okay, I mentioned that. And the cell taste place, the dying of the cells actually starts in the eye. They don't know why, but it just starts there. And I gave you a picture of the endoplectrician. There's the smooth and the rough, because it takes place in both the smooth and rough. 
neither one of the tick rooms are safe from dying. All right, now we have Wolfram syndrome type 2. And it's caused by the CISD2 protein, which is found in the mitochondria. And just in case you guys forgot, mitochondria is the energy producing factor. It's the center of the cell. It makes ATP. It takes the glucose, goes through the process, and makes the energy that your body needs. Now, the mutation of this protein is, causes it to be abnormally small, non-functional. It's a non-functional protein. And so it will not, the cell mitochondria will not maintain its shape and will break down. With the loss of these mitochondria, means the loss of energy for the cells everywhere and cells will eventually begin to die causing the high areas of energy demand such as nerve cells in the brain eyes and the intestinal tracts they will too die from the lack of energy and it's not just like a complete shutdown they're dead it's slowly it'll go from the areas that need the lowest amount of energy up to the highest so if it's not treated fast enough it's a very painful way to go because your organs are slowly shutting down. And once you lose a system like that, it's really hard for them to go back and reopen it. Once it's lost, it's pretty much lost. Now, the CIS2T protein also has symptoms of ulcers and bleeding problems with the symptoms of the first type. So not only do they have the symptoms of the first type, they're also having ulcers, not just in the intestines, but everywhere on their body and bleeding problems. And they're not really sure what causes the bleeding or the ulcers. They just know it's probably caused from the loss of the mitochondria because of the protein. Alrighty. And in kind of conclusion, Wolfram syndrome is a devastating genetic disorder. That when managed and controlled, the symptoms can altogether be avoided. And I would like to um, to thank Washington State University because they're leading the research right now for the disorder. They're the ones who found out about the calcium. They knew that there was a problem with the insulin, but they couldn't back it up far enough, and they found that it's not a dominant trait, but it's a recessive trait. And I want to thank you guys for listening, too. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Are you guys got it? All right.